Hello awesome people, this is Jude from Awesome LCG. Today we are going to talk about uh, converting a multi-UD method into a single UD method. We are going to use Maya to lay out the UVs into a single UV space. You can use any software you want to lay the UVs out. Okay? Then once, you're, once you lay the UVs, we are going to do the texture baking in Houdini. First, let's see why we want to do this kind of thing. Uh, the main reason to convert a huge asset like that, I mean this is not a huge asset, but when you have a huge asset with like hundreds of UDIMs, when you want to use that asset in real-time applications such as Unreal or Unity, it's, it's going to be really slow and a pain to use that thing in a real-time application because it has to use it has to load all these uh, textures onto the memory and it's going to be slow and there's no there's not going to be point of do, uh, using that in unreal if it's not fast so uh, one of the first optimizations that we can do when we are using an asset in a real time application is to bring all the uv's into a single uv that's one of the reasons and the other one let's say you're rendering it in an offline render such as redshift vray or renderman or whatever it's going to be much faster when it's reading from a single UV tile rather than like 100. It's going to be low resolution, yes, but uh, it's going to be way faster. So if your asset is in a shot, like a wide shot or like a far away kind of shot, this is going to be really fast to render when you have it uh, spread across like a single UV. And now we know the why. Let's see how we're going to do it. I'm gonna do the UV laying out in Maya and then we'll go to Houdini and see how we're gonna do the baking in Houdini. Uh, for this tutorial we're gonna use this car. It's made to be rendered in Redshift. Let's render still and see how it looks. So it already has textures and the UVs are spread across uh, multiple UDIMs like that. This car has two sets of individual UV sets. I have named them set 1 and set 2. Each head has its own geometry, so each set has its own UV space. I have two shaders assigned to, I mean, one shader to the set one and another shader to set two. First, export the sets as it is. Make sure you have your UV, individual UV sets separated, like groups. You don't have to do groups, but it's easier when you have group, you can just click it and export it. And even when you assign shaders, you can just assign it to the group, it's easy. I'll export this as it is, you select the group, and you go to file export selection option box we're going to export it as obj you don't need to change anything here export selection uh, i'm going to call this set one multi udim set one with multiple udims export selection and i'm going to do the same thing to set two as well file export selection we already know what's in the options so we're just gonna export this guy Okay, so now we have exported the multi udim pieces. Now we are going to bring all these udims into a single UDIM, UV tile and export that. So first, let's do it for the set one. All you need to do in Maya, if you're doing it in 3D Max, you'll have to do it some other way. You open the UV editor and you right click, you go to UV shells, you select that, shift, right click, you hold it and you go to layout, layout UVs option box and uh, just reset it so we can have a clean place to start shell layout grid grid layout one by one so that means this grid so all this will be packed into this grid shell stacking shape we want to stack it as close as possible we're gonna put free rotate that thing we're gonna change this to to a and we're gonna change the percentage of space to 0.01 when you set it to 0.01, it's going to have less space between the UV shells. Fly. Everything is in a single UV space now. UV tile, my bad. Let's do the same thing for the other one. Now, close this, close this. Now we have to export these, which are laid on a single UV tile, uh, out as OBJs as well. Export selection. I named the once before multi udim These are gonna be single udim Export selection. Same thing with this guy. Something that you need to think about when you're doing this is, when you export both sets, like the multi udim one and single udim you have to make sure that you don't move this object by accident. Because in Houdini, when you're baking it, it needs the two objects to be sitting on top of each other. 
currently it's textured like that so that's the render of the multi uni one so let's go to houdini now we are in houdini i mean before we go any further i just like to give a shout out to adi who showed me this technique when it comes to baking the textures so let's create a geo it's better to name things as you go it's going to be much clearer especially in houdini so I'm going to bring in the multi udim into set one multi udim into this geometry. So all you're going to do is tab file. Let's oh yeah it's already there. So let's bring in the multi udim. You have it. You go back. We are going to duplicate this guy. Rename this to single udim and bring in the single udim onto this. See, both meshes are on top of each other. That's nice. So, uh, now we need to bring in the textures. For that, we're going to go to Material Context and create a new shader called Principal Shader. Let's first connect all the textures into these slots. So, Base Color is going to be connected to Base Color in mine base color accept so it has brought it in just make sure that you have uh, so if it has F on the thing that's wrong you have to go in again select change this to UDIM and then select it yeah this is correct uh, and bring in the roughness metallic Let's bring in our emission as well because we have some lights on the car. I'm using normals. Right now, we don't have a place to connect the normals in this shader. I'm going to connect it to subsurface color. Okay, now all the textures are connected. Uh, we have a few things that we need to adjust on the shader as well. The base color has to be white. Roughness has to be 1. Metallic has to be 1. Subsurface 1 subsurface distance one emission color is one emission intensity is zero mm, that's all the setup that we need now let's connect this shader into our object we go back to object context let's connect our shader to the multi -unit. so what you need to do is you have to click on the geometry and you go to render and you select the material that you just created in here you go to material Principal shader. It's going to take some time because it's going to read all the textures and put it on the viewport. Oh yeah, see? If you're not seeing it on the viewport and if you like to, you can just go into display material and try to turn it on. Okay, uh, now you've got your shader connected to the textures and, sorry, the textures connected to the shader and the shader connected to the object. Now what you need to do is transfer these textures onto this object which is the single udim object okay so first make sure both of those are visible so this blue blue thing should be on for both nodes then you go to out context press tab there's a node called bake texture this one okay uh, once you create the bake node uh, you can select that and go into its options we're going to keep the resolution as uh, it is right now just so we want to make sure everything works and once everything works we can increase the resolution and send it to bake everything so first you have to change few things first on the images main you have to turn this on remove intermediate of outputs and then you're going to turn on the things that you would want to bake uh, you want to bake the emission color you need you have lights you need to bake the base color, not the diffuse, the base, because it's PBR, uh, PBR base uh, shading. If you render diffuse, it's, it's going to render all the metal stuff uh, black. So base color is the way to go. You got the base color, you need the metallic, and you need the roughness. So you can see that it doesn't have normals. I mean, the shader didn't have normals, but you connect the normals into the surface color. So we are going to turn this one as well. Now you go to output. 
and change uh, the SS color name to normal while you're doing this so this one decides when, when you bake the textures it will have this uh, name uh, in front of each file so if it's normal it should have normal on it so that's why I change it now you go to unwrapping tab you change the unwrapping method from UV to surface it should be that and you turn off the diffuse fill to no processing no post processing so now you have to define which objects you are going to get the textures from so UV object one would be the single UDIM so you're going to select single UDIM object accept and the hybrid object would be the multi-UDIM multi -UDIM geometry, except. Uh, to output, I'm gonna put my path. Uh, in Houdini, you have to make sure all these are forward slashes. And put a file name here. I'm gonna name it set1, one, set1.exr. One oh yeah, I forgot one thing. Uh, in the main, you have to change the X extract format to exrs so once that's set up you're gonna save this Houdini file let's name this file texture baking accept uh, cool so let's go back to our object context make sure both of them are on and then we go back to our out context out context where we create the big node render disk in background let it do its thing it's gonna show you like a menu once you start baking it it's gonna show this uh, render manager and it's gonna show the time oh, it's done let's go and check our textures okay so these are all the textures cool so this is how our baked textures looks uh, that's all so now all you need to do is bring those single UV meshes into unreal and connect those textures and you're good to go you go to object context right i mean uh, press tab and type geo we're going to bring in the multi udim geometry we're going to use a file node here file let's open up the multi udim obj okay so in here it's showing it as a sequence we don't want that so we're going to get set one multi udim okay so we have the first part. We need to check the UVs to how they're looking. Divide the view vertically. We're gonna divide it and we're gonna choose the UV viewport. We have all the UV spectrum of us, uh, multiple UDs. So in Houdini, all you gotta do is create a node called UV layout. So before I connect it, I'm just gonna change the island padding to zero. So basically there's not gonna be any space between those uh, shells okay let's connect in give it some time it's done see it has packed everything nicely onto this UV space. it's doing a better job than Maya when it comes to utilizing space but you can decide whatever the, you want to do now we want to export the single UDIM object out from Houdini so you're gonna duplicate this file you press alt and uh, left mouse drag the file node gonna create a duplicate of the file so I'm gonna change this uh, from multi UDIM. I'm just gonna put Houdini single UDIM as the file name because I don't want it to go and mess with the single UDIM that we already created. I just wanna show it to you guys. So we are gonna connect this onto the UE layout node and we are gonna change the file mode from read to write files. And it just created the file. I hope you guys learned something from this and please like and subscribe to my videos so I can create more content like this and if you have any questions or when you try to do the tier in it didn't work out always comment so I can give you feedback and try to fix the problem thank you